Hey guys, new video for you today. Um, it's not necessarily a vlog, but it's just going to be a video talking about my life and what I what I go through. Um, today's video is going to be on anxiety, as you probably saw up in the little doodly bar. And I'm going to try to make this kind, kind of serious, but also kind of funny at times. And if I look over here, that's just where I see things. So, yeah. So, anxiety. Uh, I'll look up a definition of what anxiety is real quick. Um, anxiety is an unpleasant state of inner turmoil, often accompanied by nervous behavior. Oh yeah, that is exactly what I have. Um, mine extends off a little more than that though. So, what I have is, I apparently have three different kinds of anxiety. I've got like, group anxiety, social anxiety, and generalized anxiety. And I'm taking something to help, help uh, make that better. Taking fluoxetine, aka Prozac, and now I'm up to three of those a day. Which it's uh, ugh, mm. some people may think that's a lot. Some people may think that's not. But that's what I'm taking. To try to ease this. So I'm gonna just explain what it's like for me. So when I get anxiety about something, it can happen pretty much anywhere. It can happen. Let's just say. Oh God. So let's just say, uh, I want to go someplace. Let's go to a store. All right. Um, around me, there's uh, let's so let's go to a Quick Trip, which is a gas station. So I want to go to Quick Trip. Uh, I would go there, and I'd be afraid of when I when I walk in, what people are gonna think. And I I walk into the store, and then I pretty much immediately have to go for what I want. And this is when I'm alone. I immediately have to go for what I want, and I can't dilly dally because I'm like, can't just look around at stuff usually. Because I'm, people, I'm like, oh, people are looking at me. People are thinking this, that, and the other thing. So, I have to immediately get what I want and then pay for it and leave. And I try to pay with the most convenient way possible. I hate to inconvenience people. So like, let's say their credit card machine's not working correctly. I'm like, oh, I'll pay with cash if I have it. They're like, no, we'll just get it working in a minute or two. I'll just, I'll just pay with cash because I want to get out of there. I want to, I don't care about the time it takes. I just don't want to be around the people as much as I possibly can because it's kind of terrifying to me. Just these people and what they're thinking. Some, they can be completely nice, but it's just, it's really hard. And, okay, let's go to another scenario. So, before I get the mail, some days I want to, you know, walk outside, grab the mail, come back inside. It's usually not as easy as that. I have to wait until there's no cars coming by because I live on a road that's usually not busy, so it's normally not a not a bad thing. But I'd have to wait so no cars are driving by, because I was terrified of what they're gonna do, like what they're gonna think of me for some reason when I'm walking down my driveway to get the mail. I would kind of just stand there, and like sometimes I would hide behind a tree. We have a bunch of pine trees um, in my front yard, and I'd kind of hide behind one, wait till the car goes by, and. Then kind of run out, and then sometimes I'd hear another one, I'm like, oh, and I'd have to run back, hide behind the tree, and it's just terrible. Um, yeah, it's not fun. So then I would, like, you know, then I could get the mail, and I'd try to make it as fast as possible, run back inside. It's, it's not good. It's definitely not fun. That's just some simple things that happened to me. When I used to work, because I'm not working at the moment, which you probably can tell, and I think I've said it, and why not, I can't, I don't work, and I don't drive at the moment working on trying to drive <laughs> but it's it's hard and right you may not think it's hard you may just think I'm lazy and all these stupid things but you can think what you want and I think what I want uh, but yeah when I worked I worked for about eight months eight to ten months I don't remember exactly how long but it was a while and I mean I think as well to you but to me it was I worked at a sub shop and I made food for people you know pretty basic stuff did some cleaning and whatnot, and the only way I could have take I took that job was because my sister worked there. That was the only way I could do it. If my sister didn't work there, I couldn't. I just, I couldn't. I didn't have enough strength. I just wouldn't be able to do it. So they convinced me. My parents and my sister convinced me to go and get an interview, which was pretty much guaranteed that I'd get in because my sister really good was a really good worker, and. Went there, did the interview, which was really stupid. Asked me a lot of really stupid questions, and made a. 
I got the job, which, you know, it's, oh, you're not a rocket scientist, we'll hire you. You know, pretty much you can do whatever you want and they'll hire you. You can be almost anyone. So I got hired, and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't that bad making food. Um, you know, I got really good. I made, I think I made some really nice looking subs. Uh, I tried to, you know, want whatever the customer wanted, I would try to listen, you know, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. It's your job. And I would try to do it as best as I could. And there was only a few, actually no, there was more than a few times. There was a decent amount of times that I had anxiety attacks. Not panic attacks. Panic attacks apparently are different from anxiety attacks. Panic attacks are like full out. You can't function for like up to half an hour to an hour. You're shaking. Uh, what I have was anxiety attacks, which was when things got too intense for me, certain things just, I couldn't function right. At that time, I'll get these anxiety attacks, like when I would have to work register, which that was, I hated it. Simple thing is the register, working the register. Someone walks in the store, they order something, and then they, you, they get made, and then they walk out. You know, something easy as that. That was super scary to me, because... I was like, what if I mess up? What if I charge them too much? What if I charge them too less? What if I give it for free? What if I do this, 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 and this? And I couldn't not stop thinking of stuff like that. It just would always go through my mind, and I I couldn't change that. So I always, I tried to stay off of the register as much as possible. If like someone, if I was cleaning and someone else was like doing dishes, sorry if you can hear my phone ringing, that's not my fault. Um, yeah, let's say I'm, I'm a... Uh, cleaning somewhere and someone's doing dishes, I would kind of try to get away, far away from the uh, register as possible because I didn't want to do it. I hated it. Oh my god. I would make subs for it as long as I possibly could or do this sh putting uh, cornmeal on a sheet of baking stuff because when we made bread we had to do that so it didn't stick. I'd do that for hours. I could do that for a long time. But the freaking register terrified me. It was super, super, super scary. You probably think I'm stupid for that, but oh well. And uh, also I had, uh, that's just like a lot of times that would happen. And what it feels like for me is, I remember one time I was asked to do register and a couple people came in and I was standing making a sub for someone else that was waiting and someone else, I don't remember who my coworker was doing something somewhere and they said I had to do it. So I finished the sub and I kind of just stood there, and my brain kind of got fuzzy, and I just couldn't think straight. And then I got this, like, warm sensation and cool, and I I just couldn't breathe very well, and I just kind of, like, couldn't think, and uh, it was terrible. And then I kind of come back from it, and I'm like, oh, that was really weird. And then I'd, uh... I helped them as best as I could, and, you know, that that's just what happened a lot. That's that's what my anxiety attacks were. It doesn't sound too bad. It wasn't fun. It happened, uh, usually when it's timed things, too, when people are like, okay, uh, I want you to clean this thing and do it and, like, do it as best as you can. You gotta make it fast. I hated when they just said make it fast or you got a couple minutes or they gave me very vague because I had been like, do I want to get it done as fast as possible? That's probably what I want, but I want to do a good job, so what am I going to do? And I remember I did a, I did a good job to what I thought was cleaning the sink. And I was like, nope. They're like, um, mm, it, no, that's terrible. I'm like, oh. And then it's like, well, there it goes. And it's just like some, in, some random times that would just come and go with the anxiety attacks. And just, not fun. Uh, they happened, I've, I've had this anxiety since at least fourth grade. Uh... I hate oral reports, saying things in front of groups of people. I would rather pay money than not do those. Great sums of money. Not great. I made 20 bucks. But yeah, uh, I had to do one of those. I prolonged it. I was the only person, I think, ever to do this, but I had to do a report on fossils. Actually, I just had to make a report up, but I, I did it on fossils because my sister helped me about it. And this is fourth grade. And I didn't do it until the last day of school. This is a recurring theme. So I didn't do that to the last day of school, and that was this that wasn't fun. I was like the last person, so awkward up there when everyone's gone six months earlier than that, and I'm the last day of school. Everyone's about to go. I was like, oh no, Dan's got a presentation for everyone. Oh God, 
So I did that. It was fine, I think. They, the teacher called me every day saying, Dan needs to do his blah, 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 blah. And then recently, in 8th or 7th grade, I'd do that oral report for uh, uh, my history class where I did, like, the We the People and Order the Report, blah, 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 whatever, preamble, I think it was. And that was super scary. I did not want to do that. Uh... I had a, in freshman year, I think, either freshman or sophomore year, I think it was sophomore, I had to give an English essay, uh, speech, and, again, I waited weeks, weeks and weeks, if not, like, two or three months before I gave it, uh, one of the very last, day. actually, no, it was the last day of school that we could possibly do it, because it was finals week, it's like three days for finals, three or four days, and it was the last day, and I did it then. It was not fun. Only I think only the teacher and two other people saw it. But it made me feel a lot better because, like, you know, you get that joy after you do something like that, something stressful. Oh my god, it was just such a such a weight off my shoulders just because it sucks so bad to have to talk in front of people and be the center of attention because I don't like that. I don't like to be the center of attention most of the time. That ain't cool. And... Senior year, I got better, slightly better, because it was I had to do a bunch of them. I didn't like to do them, but I could do them, because they were on things that I enjoyed slightly. If it's on something I enjoy, it's not as bad. So, I made we made up some products, some inventions, and I got to do a spiel about that. That wasn't too bad. And some other stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. Only in my uh, entire school career, because I'm not in college yet, because that's another thing I'll talk about in a little while, it was super scary, and there's only, oh, well, school and college will be, but yeah, uh, the classes, I had three classes in my entire school career that I enjoyed, and could be comfortable in, and, you know, act how I want to, which is, you know, hey guys, what's going, yeah, yeah, it's weird stuff like that, I got a bottle of pills, what colors are they, oh, hey, Mr. Apple, stuff like that. I like to act like that. It makes me happy. It makes me feel good. But I can't act like that in school most of the time because the teacher will be like, you're drunk or crazy or high or something. Something is wrong with you, Dan. I'm like, no, I, I just want to act how I want to act. They're like, oh, no, you can't do that. So, physics class. I think I've told this in previous vlogs, but I could act however I wanted in there. I lay down on tables when there's movies to play. The teacher would just look at me and be like, Dan. And she just kind of gave up, in a good way. She didn't give up on me as a person, but just like, she knew I was going to act how I wanted to because I felt comfortable. And I hope she felt good about that because she helped me. And then there was uh, my art class. I could pretty much act however I wanted in there to a certain extent. You know, I can't, you know, take my pants off and shirt off and, you know, party boy in my boxers because that would make me feel bad about myself. But also, you know, I can't do that. <coughs> I can't do that. I'm not allowed. But there's that class, um, not as laid back in that class, and then there was animation. I took animation twice, I think, two or three times. I think it was twice. Yeah, it was twice. Took it twice, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, I had a friend I could just yell across the classroom to, and I didn't care what the teacher thought, really. I'm like, how you doing? Na 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 na. You know, you know, like 20 feet away or something. I'm trying to block out other people talking. Uh, I was trying to prevent that. But yeah, I could like shout to him or shout to like, pretty much anyone. The teacher would look at me like, "I'm gonna kill you, Jan. I'm gonna backhand you when this is over." It's like, nah, I don't care. I'm having fun. That's just what I tried to do. I tried to have fun as much as I could. But in other classes like history and blah 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 and blah blah blah, I couldn't do that. I had to act as normal as possible because I, I didn't know most of the people and people didn't. I don't think people liked me as much in school. I was always. I didn't talk a lot. I was usually pretty shy. And I'm still pretty shy. I'm extremely shy. I don't I don't have a lot of confidence. You know, it's a big thing. I don't have a lot of self-confidence. Like, I have my long hair, my long, awesome, super soft... Oh, I love that hair. But yeah, I had that. That made me feel a little good about myself because I could take some decent pictures. I'm like, yeah, I took some selfies of myself. I'm like, oh, I look, I look kind of snazzy there. And, uh, you know, it took me sometimes a while to make my hair look good. Usually I was like, <laughs> straighten it, then it's like, pull it to the side, hat, done. You know? Like that. Uh, I've had certain certain times at school with my confidence. It's like I can't usually. Uh, I hated being in groups with people I didn't know. 
I always slacked in that because I was super scared. Uh, and if anyone from school that, you know, is watching this, I'm sorry if I ever did anything uh, that made you uncomfortable. I'm, I'm a strange person. If you watch any of my other videos, uh, I'm a very weird person. You know, I want as many people to get to know me as they, if they want to. Because, you know, I like having a group of people I can socialize with. I like to be able to talk. I'm very... If you get to know me, uh, you don't even have to know me very well. If you just have any topic that I enjoy, I can go on about it for a long time. I will listen to you for as long as you want to talk, and then I'll come back with something. Boom. But I can't just do that with anyone. It has to be someone I know. It has to be someone that I get to know. So that's, that's the worst thing about it for me. I have to know people... And that's what this is going to be scary in college when I go. I'm going to have to be able to drive, which is going to suck, and blah, blah, blah. When I get there, there's hundreds of people around me. Hundreds of these people I don't know, ranging from 18 to 80. I don't know how old people at community colleges. But yeah, when I go there, it's, they're a technical college. When I go there, it's just going to be... Uh, it's going to be nerve-wracking all the time. And I'm going to be getting homework, which I care about homework, but I really don't as much. People are like, oh, college is the best time of your life. I'm like, I feel like I'm not going to make any friends. You, People are like, no, nope, you're going to make friends no matter what, but it's so difficult for me to just meet people. That's I, Over the internet, it's a lot easier, but that's completely different than um, meeting people in real life. Socializing, them seeing your like facial expressions at all times, seeing how you fidget. You know, I'm, I'm playing with a piece of skin on my thumb that's kind of like a hangnail I'm trying to get that off you know that's like fidgeting I'm trying to think of stuff I can do to occupy myself while I'm talking about this because it's so it's kind of awkward for me to talk to a camera even though I do feel like I'm talking to a decent amount of people right now I hope more people watch this because this is one of my one of the most uh, important videos I've made um, so yeah there's that and uh, what else do I want to talk about yeah at school it's just at college, I don't think I'm going to be able to function very well, at least at first, or for a while, unless, unless that, this little bottle right here does something, I don't think it's going to help, because I took these mofos for a month, roughly, did nothing for me, those, I had low hopes, I think it's more of like a partially placebo as well, with some things too, um, most medications, there's a slight placebo effect, because you want it to happen. You want to feel a certain way when you take it. You want a headache to go away. You want this to go away. Just the power of thought can do a lot. And I'm going to want that to help me with my anxiety. But I don't know if that's going to happen. And I hope it does, though. I really hope it does. Because these are actually... I think uh, Prozac is antipsychotic, antidepressants, bulimia, nervosa, blah, 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 for people who are bulimic or anorexic or something, um, to, I guess, stop that. It also said it's for obesity. So I don't... It doesn't say anything about anxiety, but I really hope it helps with that. <sighs> yes. It can be intense. Uh, I, I... Sometimes I can't even be around some people I know just because I get this... I get the kind of depressed feeling from it, like, uh, and just the anxiety. I'll go around, my friend invites me to places sometimes, and oh, I love that. I, I love being included in things, because I never feel included in most things. I feel like I'm the last person most people want to do stuff with. Because, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of stuff. I'm not star of the show, I'm not, you know, I have money, I can do this, or I am awesome at everything, and all these things, but I love being included. But sometimes when I'm included, I can't do it because I can't function properly when I would go to wherever that would be at. So, like, let's say I was going to go to a carnival. Sometimes I'd be freaking scared of a carnival. There's just, like, people around there. Because I don't know how they're going to react. I don't know if they're going to shiv me. I don't know if they're going to stab me. Walking around sketchy streets at night. Oh, you better believe how paranoid I get. It's not fun. In high school, uh, it was I didn't really get made fun of or anything. Uh, to be honest, not a lot of people talk to me. I feel like a lot of people tried not to talk to me, try to avoid. Sorry about the little intermission. Um, I video. I don't remember if it was the memory filling or if the battery died, but uh, I'm only gonna make this probably another 
five to ten minutes max. So, yeah, uh, I feel like a lot of people avoided me in school. Not necessarily like, be like I really don't not necessarily say it out loud and make vocalize it or anything like, oh that guy's gross stuff like that. But there was, there was maybe a couple times that happened. But usually they just uh, didn't want to usually have me as their partner. Most of those things I was in into uh, math and chemistry and physics and stuff. I was pretty decent at it, so you know, uh, if you were in my group, I usually did pretty decent, pretty good. So I was a good partner, not that. It was uh, an issue with that. I just feel most people didn't get me, didn't understand me, didn't like me for that. Because I'm so weird, I'm so goofy. It's like, eh, man, yeah, like I said earlier, it's just, you know, oh, Mr. Apple, you look so cool, you're molding a little bit. I always take care of that. Maybe there'll be penicillin, make a syringe out of that. I'm strange. That's who I am. I'm really goofy. I'm really weird. I feel like I'm, I can be fun around if, you know, if you, uh, uh, get to know me. So, yeah, people, people watch this that I know in real life and you're intrigued a little bit, get to know me, please. You know, I like that. I really, really like that. Uh, what else? I just had something. My mind, my mind's too random today. Well, it's random all the time. Oh god, it's random all the time. It is really difficult. Well, these, my, uh, my recent medication's kind of, kind of taken away a little bit of that randomness, but, uh, yeah. Oh, I know what I can talk about. So, uh, sophomore year, actually, was a pretty hard year. I don't think I passed a lot of classes that year. My core classes, I think I did, but my, uh, other classes I didn't, and... During school, I was with my anxiety and difficulty making friends and such. I only had, I had friends in a few of my classes, and then at lunch and before school, uh, we would sit at a table together. And I, my anxiety, I believe, caused me some depression, and some things happened in my life. So if you ever see, like, um, uh, can't see it, but I did some bad stuff to that arm and to this. And yeah, it's it's not fun. It's something I don't recommend. It's not fun to have. It can cause other things. And mm, I really, if I didn't have anxiety, I don't know if I would have did this. I might have. It might have caused me uh, some other depression. I know it's definitely something that happened. Uh, I try to be happy. Uh, I don't. I don't like being sad. I like to be a happy guy. I like to try to exude some good vibes. Uh, some. Try to uh, just cheer people up. I had a friend, but if, if if I see any of my friends and they're not happy, you know, I will try my best to make them happy. Uh, even if, you know, I barely know you, I will hopefully, most likely, try to make you happy if you're sad. Just, just gotta try to contact me, because, you know, me, it's hard for me to contact people. But yeah, if someone, I was talking to someone about this, like, I can't go up to, I just can't go up to people and talk to them. My parents, uh, my mom and dad, mainly my dad, he can just go up to people and he can talk to them. Like at a garage sale, he can haggle them down to a penny for a fridge. I don't know. TV. Uh, it was a $1,000 TV, you can have $10. Stuff like that. My dad can get people to do stuff like that. He's persuasive. He's confident. He's got a lot of... He ain't got anxiety. Like me. It's not fun. That's going to be a theme. Not fun. But yeah, I wish I could do that. I wish I could just go up to people, you know, and socialize. Uh, random people. That'd be awesome. I feel like I might be seen as strange and kind of creepy. It's like, how are you doing? <laughs> but, it's... It's a strange condition. If you have anxiety, you probably probably have it very similar to me. If not, there's different kinds of anxiety. There's also depression, there's paranoia, there's schizophrenia, there's... All these random things, all these other illnesses, you know, that cause difficulties socializing and being happy and whatnot. But yeah, I still try to still try to keep with it and do things, try to occupy my time, which is really difficult when I don't have a lot of stuff to occupy my time with. Uh, I try to look for things. That's why I make these videos most of the time, because I'm bored. These are, that's why I made the board vlogs, because I was bored. I had time to myself. I wasn't doing anything else. Sometimes I was.
most of the time I wasn't. <sighs> yeah. And it makes it diff- oh my god. Anxiety. And it's like doing things, like groups of people, like a party. It's, it's usually pretty hard. Um, and ladies, talking to ladies, you know, is, is um, difficult. Um, I really don't know who's going to be watching this, uh, or if anyone's going to be watching it, or if a lot of people are, I don't know. But, since I don't have, like, self-esteem really, um, no confidence, not a lot of self-worth and all these things, because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty just mediocre to decent at, at a bunch of random stuff. I'm not proficient in most things, or even a few things. I'm not, like, amazing at anything, which I was. I could do a good job in it. But, uh, yeah, ladies, sorry if I ever, if I ever look weird, if I try to, if I ever talk funny, if I ever just act really strange, that's who I am. Uh, I feel like I'm a good guy. I feel like I'm pretty nice, pretty sociable once you get to know me again. But, I, uh, dating people just doesn't work for me. I wish I could date people, because they're the best. I'd love to date people. I'm not... I love to date someone, one person at a time, you know, and if that didn't go well, but, yeah, you know, it's just, I can't, I, I need that, comp I need some confidence somehow, I need to get that, I need to get rid of my anxiety, which is difficult, uh, I need to, I need to be able to believe these things about myself that I can't right now, so yeah, that's, that's why I'm always single, single Dan, yay. Forever alone. <laughs> that's, that's just me. That's who I am. You know, I, I don't dislike being alone. You got a lot of free time. Pretty much all the free time you want. I hate free time. I've had months of doing nothing. That is extremely boring. Ten months. Guess what I did? Sat pretty much in this exact same spot. Talked to you guys going on the internet. Yep, that's sad. That's extremely sad and depressing. That was my life. And I'm trying to change it. I'm trying to uh, go drive more so I can get my license and I can get a job and do this and that and college and that and blah 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 blah. Cause I want that. I want to succeed. Who wants to be a slob? Actually, I do plan on being the world's largest man at one point in time. Don't know when that's gonna happen. I'll work on it. But yeah. Actually, that's another thing. I don't, I don't like who I am. My, my tummy's all, all blah, blah, blah. I, I, I'm not fat. Don't get me wrong. I'm not obese. But I, I don't like how my belly's squishy. I like to poke at it, as I said before. It's... This is my, uh, my body. You know, I, I don't feel like... My arms are pretty skinny. Uh, is that pretty skinny? You know? Yeah, look at that. Look at the arm. Look at the other arm. I'm looking at myself. Ooh. You know, I don't think my arms are fat. Not really. Just my belly. That's, that, that could change something about myself. It'd probably either be my teeth, hair, or my belly. I'd probably pick my belly. So that would be nice if that was just not just flabby. It's, Cause it's a little, a little flabby. A little, a little. <sighs> We're all the story of this 30 minute, however long thing. Uh, if you have anxiety, I don't know where you're at. Probably. I know at least a percentage of what you're going through. I have my own problems and struggles. I have a lot of things I didn't talk about in this that caused me to not believe a lot of people, caused me to have no trust, very difficult to trust people, things like that. But I'm still working. I'm still trying to be a better person myself. I'm trying to be the best person I could possibly be, because who wants a friend that's not the best person they could be? Who wants a half, halfway good, halfway bad person? You don't want you want a you want an awesome person. That's what I'm trying to be, and I hope you try to be that, because I would want to be your friend then. You know, you can be friends if we're both awesome. We try to be awesome together, awesome squared, or cubed if there's three people, or you know, you can make the little half the thing four or five, whatever. To the nth term. <sighs> that water tastes like ice cubes, which tastes kind of like iron. 
we have very, very hard water. Yep. Still, anyone who's watching this, if you're from somewhere around the world and I don't know you, or if you are someone I know and I know you, uh, that's a little bit more about me. I don't know if you enjoyed that or not, but I felt like I should talk about this, uh, because you might be like, why is he talk, why, in like vlogs or anything, why is he taking medication for this, that's why. It's difficult, I reiterated numerous times, it's hard for me to be around people, I don't know, socializing, ladies, if a lady approached me, I could talk, I can't approach them, it's terrifying, rejection man. Rejection is scary. Rejection makes me feel terrible. I'm supposed to learn from rejection and learn from failing, but it just makes me not want to try again because it's just not fun. Ah, there's that thing, not fun. So, if you ever need to talk about anything, uh, I'm going to probably try to say this more, but if you ever need to talk about anything with anyone, going through anything, I'll try to help you because uh, I like to help people. And just contact me. I post this to my Facebook and my YouTube. So wherever you're watching this, message me any way you can. Uh, comments, whatever. I really do hope you have a good day. I'm trying to have a good day myself. It's only 626. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. It's pretty warm out. It's like 78 in my room. 79. Almost 80 degrees. It's pretty warm. Have a good one. Good day and night, whatever it is, wherever you live. Freaking Australians having like the reverse of wherever I am. Koalas, man. Koalas. Moral of the story. Again, I, I forget a lot and I like to say things again. Great day, great night. Good anxiety. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's maybe helped, helped you realize some things about yourself. I know I realized a little bit more about myself, not too much, because, of course, I'm making the video, but, yeah, if you want to talk to me, I'd love that. I'd love if someone just message me, whoever you are, you know, doesn't matter. I like talking to people. Have a great day. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you soon.